Signs. Signs, wake up. Signs, wake up. The weapon got through his armor. He has two broken ribs. The necklace is tied in a way that it seems to be his heart. It is my mother's necklace. After all these years, he still keeps it. Then that means he still remembers me. Sons, please, wake up. Please don't die. <laughs> Ouch. I'm not so fragile to die from a couple of broken ribs. That would be a pity. But please, don't grind my bones. Sons. Sons! <laughs> I'm so glad you're alive. I was very scared. M me too. Does it hurt? I'm fine. It doesn't hurt as much as you think. Are you okay? Yes, my head hurts a little. Um, Princess, I know we're in bed and I truly would love to have a good time with you, but uh, I'm in pain still. Besides, I'm a skeleton and even with my magic, I'm not physically equipped to do it. Uh... Um, Frisk, Princess! I was only joking! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where are we? I think this is Asgore's castle. I got to see a few rooms like this when they captured me the first time. I also remember this. Magic-proof chains. I think they consider me dangerous. Sons. The ruby heart? Oh, that's right. It's unharmed. That's good to know. Well, taking that expression of yours, I assume you know this belongs to you. So now, tell me, what did you remember? For starters, that you erased my memory. It was when my mother died, am I right? And how did you manage to remember? I was taken to the Resistance and there I met Gaster. He told me about us when we were children. He told me you were his son and as soon as he knew I didn't remember anything, he assumed you erased my memory. He helped me get them back. So he really joined the Resistance. It's true he was my adoptive father, but he isn't really a loving father, more of a strict teacher. I suppose that girl was part of the Resistance because of the emblem on her back. To be honest, I believe my memories too were affected when I was transformed into a monster. It wasn't until I got to see you again that I began to remember you. At first, I couldn't believe it. But the memories became clearer. I didn't want to see you suffer, so I erased your mother's memories. But I felt so guilty for not being able to keep my promise that I ended up eliminating myself from your memory too. That's why you were acting as if you didn't know me. That's because I didn't know you. I don't remember everything clearly, but I know we spent a lot of time together. We were best friends. I could have stayed with you and supported you at your lowest point. That was the right thing to do. I was a coward and escaped. That's right. I'm a huge idiot. You are. Do you hate me? No. Even if you forgot your mother. That's right. I deserve to be hated. You were just a kid, unconscious of your own actions. I was older than you. I should have been more responsible. You were only thinking of me. I can't hate you for that. I guess you know why I did it. But that doesn't justify it. Yes, I know it very well. Could you forget about it? No. It doesn't matter what I feel anymore. I'm just a monster. Who would love me like this? You're still yourself. There's nothing left of that kid. I don't even have a real heart. I'm just a pile of bones. You are wrong. You're still that Sans who played with me when we were children. That's why I forgive you. It doesn't matter if you can't remember everything. I'll help you do it. 
but you are forbidden from forgetting me again, no matter what form you have. You said you would be my knight, didn't you? You're right, I said that. <laughs> Thank you, princess. Oh, you're awake! It was about time. I thought I would have to wake you up myself. Papyrus? Papyrus? Papyrus, did you bring us to the castle? Of course I did. I myself carried you both here. Forgive me for hitting you, princess, but it was a direct order to bring you here. And I didn't want you to resist again. Papyrus, answer me this. Was it you who attacked me? No, that was Undyne. She threw her spear as soon as she saw you. But that doesn't matter. Princess, I need you to come with me. King Asgore wishes to speak with you directly. And please don't resist. I don't want to take you by force again. Uh... <gasps> All right. I'll go and speak with King Asgore. Princess, are you serious? You know he's dangerous. And you can't go alone! That wound isn't lethal, but your body is fragile. It would be better for you to rest for a while, brother. I'll come for you later. You don't have to worry for the princess. I'll be fine, sons. I wanted to speak with the king anyway. Wait here until I come back, okay? Try to recover your strength. Frisk! Wait! Don't go! Huh? This painting is just like the one I found when I entered the kingdom. It is surprising how much has passed since I got here. It feels like it was a long time ago. At that time, I didn't know anything about this kingdom. About Asriel's family, or even my own. I have this feeling this long trip is finally coming to its end. I don't know if I'll be able to end it with so many years at war. But at least I'll try. Mom? Dad? Give me your determination. Come on, Princess. The King is waiting for us. Yes. King Asgore, I have brought the Princess. Go with him, Princess. It's okay. It is a pleasure to see you again, King Asgore. It has been many years since I last saw you. Do you know why I have brought you here? Have they told you about my plan to assassinate you when you were just a child? Yes. Everyone warned me on the way that you wished to kill me. Are you afraid of me, child? No, I'm not afraid of you. I have learned and remembered many things on my way here. I realized something very important that I knew since the beginning. You aren't a bad person. Everyone said you tried to poison me with the yellow flower tea that Asriel gave me when I was a child. But a friend told me once that the flowers have medicinal properties. You weren't trying to kill me. You were trying to save me. <laughs> King Asgore, it seems your intentions have been found. As it's typical of you, you are late. But I'm very glad to see you, little sister. <laughs>